Okay. Uh, anyone else? I think everyone's already here. Audrey sama Patricia, sir. Audrey sama Patricia. Uh oh. I texted her, but cuma centang satu. It's holiday. It's okay. Um, I think, that, yeah, I record this session as well. I'll, I might post this later lah, to my YouTube. So if anyone would like to rewatch, hopefully you can watch it there. Okay. Let me know if I'm lagging. Yeah. Um, it's holiday. My kids playing and um, yeah, streaming. So it might be slow. All right. Yeah, I think I'll just. Let me know if I'm lagging. Okay. So first thing first, good morning. Thank you for showing up, everyone. I know it's holiday. Yeah. Um, but today's agenda is just I want to be clear about logging. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe you heard from. Um, maybe you heard from someone uh, blogging. You can just post your PDF, upload to blog. Yeah. So that's not true. Blogging is all about posting content. Yeah. Um, the main body of blogging is about written work. Yeah. Have you all been um, exposed to the well senior batch like the one that already have their blog completed? Everyone, sudah lihat contoh-contohnya? Uh, we've seen a no. few. Okay. Uh, most of them using Wix, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, most of them using Wix with a good reason at that time. Well, even until now, see. Wix is very comprehensive. Yeah. Um, you can create a, at its core, Wix is good for making website. Yeah. The only tool where its core is making block is only a few and i have them one already prepared to share later wordpress yeah um yeah so essentially post content yeah. so blog is more than just if someone tell you yeah create your visual diary and make it as pdf and upload to your blog so blog is more than this yeah just want to fix this uh, misunderstanding, yeah. It's not looking. Okay. So the keyword with this is you do it regularly, right? And it's also about making structured content. So obviously, your content has to be structured in such way where either you or the teachers or whoever that will access the blog can access all the information and read it easily. Yeah. The simple example is the use of tech or different tools have different way to do this. Yeah. Okay, so just enough um, general view about blogging. Maybe Cindy can add a bit about blogging from your experience. Anything that I miss here? Mm, I think uh, it's already pretty sum up here. I, I don't think I have anything to add. Maybe oh, later. I remember now. Okay. One strength that blog has and visual diary doesn't is what? Anyone? Uh, mm, blog okay. gives a. Is um, what? Two is the ability to have what hyperlinks, yeah. All right. Display audio and video. Yeah. Remember this, everyone. Okay. Um. So. There are things that is good for if you put in visual diary. 
all the things that is very expressive and instant. How to spell that? Instant. How to say it? Instantaneously. There you go. Yeah, spontan. Yeah. Do it in visual diary. However, in the form of writing, sometimes write it down. If you have a, I don't know. If you always use your uh, phone and such, blocking is the way. Yeah. Nah, bisa taruh video di visual diary ya. Ah yes, thank you. Okay, so this is another prank. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, and file to be shared. Okay, okay so remember this, everyone. Ya, jadi enggak. Um, not that, aduh, ngeblok kan ngeblok cuma giri enggak ya? So, blok that. I block myself still years ago until now. Um, I'll share later ya. Okay, so without further ado, I'll show you what you can do with um, blogging ya. So, first thing first, who in here already use or try to use Wix? I know Cindy already, everyone else, anyone else? Mencoba pakai Wix? I use Weebly. Okay, yes. Okay. Then use Wix, use Weebly. Mereka nggak boleh pakai Wix. <laughs> okay, just to be clear, the one that state, I didn't say you cannot use Wix, yeah. I just said to other teacher because most of other, uh, there are issues where students facing difficulties with Wix, yeah. And looking at the dashboard, I understand why, yeah. Um, I try not to recommend using Wix. Why? For a simple blog post, do you see a, a button to say post your blog in here? Ada nggak? Where, Cindy? Where? Ah, there you go. But there is no button that is as simple as post blog, right? Okay, as simple as that. There you go, dashboard. Yes, right. Now compared to WordPress, um, this is my WordPress. Uh, let me go back to my dashboard. Okay, this is my WordPress. Yeah, who make money? Yes, I should. Uh, what do you see here? Right. If you are interested in doing user experience or screen design, not sure what um, it will be called in UIC design, but this is a good example of a user experience design. I just want to block. Uh, I, want, I just want to post something as a blog. WordPress cater that. Yeah. I've been using WordPress for quite a while. That's my blog address. If anyone wants to visit, yeah. So I walk the talk, yeah. I'm not just saying, kalian harus punya blog. I am, I do blog. I'm trying to learn podcast now. Um, but yeah, that, yeah. WordPress, easier. Anyone trying WordPress in here? The catch with WordPress, not sure um, if this is an actual issue, see, is the template, yeah. One thing that uh, I I heard a lot yeah from students yeah murid murid biasa komentar template nya bagusan Wixer betul yeah template nya emang Wix lebih cakep lebih apa istilahnya kalian tuh lebih aesthetic ya yeah? pilihan lebih banyak saya rindu ya yeah? WordPress on the other hand is slightly limited ya yeah? um, but I think that's one thing that makes this is a great platform for blogging, yeah, because it is designed for blogging. Yeah. Sampai sini, following. Um, for those that already use Wix, you can ask Cindy uh, or other seniors on how to utilize them, yeah. Because for me personally, this already a put off, yeah. Karena dari sini, 
mau lihat tombol posting blog nggak ada itu dari awal aja udah for me ya uh, I blog uh, regularly in WordPress I if I just click this and it will lead to this uh, blog post and a title ya yeah. title misalnya uh, week one hang on today is week three in prof there yeah. And here you type, and you just want, if you want to put text, you can put text content automatically, image heading, whatsoever. Yeah. Oh yeah, a bit on heading. Ini sebetulnya website. Ini CSS. Ya. Kok ada H2, H1? Anyone familiar with this? Bedanya apa? Ini HTML ya. H1. Ya, yeah. sorry. The size difference. Yes, so the H1 is the title, yeah, the, the top title. H2, H, sorry, H2 is the subtitle, smaller, 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 yeah. If you know HTML, this actually based from that, yeah. Yang paling utama, bawahnya, bawahnya, bawahnya. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is WordPress. You can just write and you can put categories if you want to in here. I already got mine. Um, yeah. Okay, and text. So for blogging, I keep promoting WordPress, but as um, I'm experienced using blog WordPress, so it, this is like designed for blog. Yeah. Now, another in the past, I also use Weebly. Yeah. Now Weebly has been acquired by Square. Yeah. Square itu uh, dia spesialisasinya bikin website. Square used to be a direct competitor to Wix. And yeah, e-commerce. Yeah. In the past, Weebly is as simple as WordPress. Now, slightly tricky. Yeah. So again, in here you don't see uh, you don't see that uh, direct access to post your blog. Yeah. Tadi yang pakai Weebly siapa? Indika. Ya? Yes. Uh, baru kemarin sih. Tapi itu. I use it for the first time. Okay. Like download it. And okay. Um, it's a bit tricky to navigate here. Yeah. Um, what I don't like about this Wix and Weebly in the context, yeah, in the context of blogging, it's not direct. It's all just, yeah. It's like you have your own site, yeah. Um, saya juga lupa sih. Kemarin macam apa ya? What does that mean? Yeah, yeah, oh, I see it. Hold on. Okay, so if I click edit site, this is where I go. Okay. So yeah, this is confusing. So I got a page, UIC design blog. Yeah. And the this part. This can be a block categories, yeah. So if I can put it here if I want to, okay. Um, but is this is like building website. So if you are into it, if you have time, um, this is actually in a way good, yeah. Good that you learn how to make a website, but it's not good if you just want to post blog, yeah. Uh, Cindy, is it similar with Wix nowadays? Like this, right? Drag and drop. Or no? Beda ya. Many uh, tools to making website and everyone. Yeah. Sekarang modelnya begini. Yeah. Uh, drag and drop. If you learn how to code, this is actually they really use the advanced HTML5 coding to make this happen. Which it's good if you want to make website. Yeah. This is. I'm not saying this is bad. This is good if you want to make website, if you are willing to go further and to, um, in a way, not only making blog, making portfolio, use Weebly and Wix, yeah, perfect tool, okay. But there is that learning curve that you have to uh, go through, yeah. Which sometimes you don't have, yeah. Aduh, males, gak punya waktu. Karena PR-nya banyak. 
ya enggak? PR kalian udah banyak loh, so far. Little bit. Little bit. Manageable, for me at least. Oke, okay, manageable. Fair enough. But ya, yeah, uh, <laughs> jangan PR, bagus, bagus, bagus. bagus. But, Yeah, if you are already used to this, okay. Yeah, um, sorry, Indika, have you already in this mode? Indika sudah mulai ngedit belum? Uh, yes, uh, wait, edit yang the which one? Well, your blog. Have you make a blog? Oh yeah, I was including your. I added the the page name, the UIC design design blog. Hey. In Weebly, at least they have blog. Yeah. Kalau di Wix, kayaknya udah nggak ada ya? Ada nggak ya, Cindy? Or those that just make one? Is there a template? Kalau di Weebly masih ada. Um, yeah. So, but, well, that happened if I overlap that. Fine. Right. So, as you can see, Weebly and Wix has their each of their own strength, yeah. And this is the website when I try to design, yeah. Uh, you can add if you uh, section to page, page, and in here, uh, blog in there as well, yeah. So once you know how to lay out, Wix is good, yeah. Wix is a great not only for your Visual block, but also for your other thing, especially portfolio. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Miss Dianti nggak pernah kasih PR, cuma kasih ini ya, Miss Dianti. Workshop, ya. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what happen if you just want to write first, design later? Any of you like to write? Like you express better in writing or typing? Now, this is an example that I already made. Oh, not this one. Mana ya? Uh, hmm. Hmm, you know, let me upload that to the website. Yeah. Okay. Do you see the post? Everyone? So this is a blog post that um, I made using Notion, yeah? Just for today, yeah? You, I see design blog post, yeah? Documentation of work, blah, 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 up to you. This is just an example, yeah? Um, and you can organize this by term, term of study, term one, term two, term three. You'll be here until five term, yeah? So it can go from left to right and all the classes like here, yeah? For example, if you go to this, yeah, then you will enter the this class and you can put this as week one, week two, week three, and so forth, yeah? If you click out, you'll return to that page, okay? So the method in Notion is very straightforward and you can uh, slightly adjust uh, according to your need, yeah? So without further ado, I'll open Notion. Semua tadi udah download ya, Notion-nya ya. Yes, sir. Okay. Am I lagging, guys? No. No, Not sir. Okay. But this is slow. Hmm. Yeah, let me maybe this will help. Alright. Oh, maybe not. Yes, sir. Yes. I have I have a question. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of confused now. So, like, uh, for Visual Diary, mm -hmm. uh, do you recommend using one of the websites or just like? write down in Word, uh, Microsoft Word or something like that? That's a good question. So for blogging, my recommendation is 
this is there's also personal bias ya. WordPress because you just post blog ya. It's as simple as that. Oke, okay, my recommendation. But realizing that some of you like to tinker, like to explore, and it will be good also for your skill in certain aspect. For example, like learning how to build website. Yeah, um, it's okay if you want to use Weebly or Wix. Yeah. The the problem, everyone. Yeah. Nantinya gini. When you start with Wix, this usually happen. Then when some lecturer ask, kok kalian nggak pernah update blog? Aduh susah, miss, nggak bisa ngupdate ke Wix. Aduh Wixnya bla bla bla. Jadi karena masalah teknis, because of the learning curve, and you cannot update properly, you blame the tools. Nah, itu yang jadi masalah. Ya. Yeah. So if you want to use Wix or Weebly, tolong you really into it gitu loh. Thinker, uh, look at the tutorial or ask uh, seniors on how they manage their Weebly. Ya, yeah. itu sih. So you can use Wix sebetulnya uh, as long as jangan menyerah. Ya, yeah. Weebly too. Karena dua ini sekarang is more as a web builder more than just a blog post itu ya yeah. beda dengan WordPress um, although interestingly more than 75% of a website in the world based on WordPress ya yeah, engine wise um, but for blogging that's the core of WordPress actually ya yeah. lucunya di situ ya yeah, you can uh, see me. okay ada kok yang jago-jago juga if um, and I think they are willing to help as well the recent graduate too ya yeah, ada beberapa yang jago kok ada yang menyerah juga sih maksudnya weeks itu dah uh, terus update-nya seadanya ada okay. um, I hope that answer ya tadi cukup menjelaskan sorry tadi yang nanya siapa ya yeah, sorry thank you Okay, Carmen. All right. Um, so so far, um, are you still on the fence? Pakai Wix atau pakai ini atau pakai Notion? Hopefully after this uh, you can make up your mind. Yeah. Uh, hang on. I'm trying to open my Notion. But seriously, my internet is very dumb. There you go. Okay, so this is how it looks on Notion, yeah. So your account in here, and all your posts, it can be private or share, yeah. Uh, okay, and you can hide this if you want to, yeah. Uh, the post that I made is here, yeah. And this is the one that you just saw just now, all right? Oke, okay. what time is it? Alright, 20 is minute should be enough. Ready everyone? Uh, you can uh, you can try as we go along ya. Ambil dijalankan saja. Alright, so if you just start doing this, ya, yeah, uh, you can uh, you can press plus in here private. Yeah, when you press plus, you will get this untitled, add icon, cover, add comment, etc. Now, there are templates that you can use to jump start, yeah, or you can do it from blank, yeah, up to you, yeah. But the goal of to arrange this is remember that this will be a website. And this will be the first that they see the the visitor of your site uh, blog will see ya. Yeah. Jadi ini apa istilahnya landing page nya, home page nya, oke? Okay. Jadi mereka pertama masuk pasti lihat ini jebret. Now up to you how you want to arrange this. Kalau misalnya langsung mau um, kasih list kelasnya per term, ini enak sebetulnya buat guru. Uh, misalnya, wah Cindy ini 
bikin blog kayak ya. Coba lihat kelas ini. Klik. Oh, dia bikin. Oke. Okay. Terus lihat kelas ini. Oh, dia bikin juga misalnya ya. And so forth. Oke. Okay. This is not set on stone ya. So you can later if you already know your way, kalian bisa ini. But um, if you want to follow along. So let's start with this. Untitled, tulis aja UIC design uh, blog. Oke. Okay. You can put your name if you want to. Yeah. Then you can add icon. Yeah. Icon ini if you click bisa ganti macam-macam kok. Lucu-lucuan aja. You can add cover. Um, you can change if you want to. Ada dari Unsplash. I recommend you upload supaya uh, nggak terlalu nggak terlalu gede lah gambarnya. Misalnya uh, just upload ini deh. Hai. Right. So that's the simplest customization that you can quickly do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, press enter to continue with an empty page or pick a template. So um, let's be brief, yeah. Ketik aja dari awal. So start with the text. Yeah. So this is my visual diary. Oh, sorry. Or UIC blah 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 to you, yeah. And after this, um, you can add your content. Now, instead of thinking um, subject, think about that as a, in a structure, ya. Contoh gampangnya gini. Kalian kan baru mulai tahun berapa sekarang? Except for Cindy. Cindy, what term are you? Yeah, they they just start term one, right? In this term four. So imagine. I'm technically term four, but uh, yeah, this is my second term. Tapi kan aku skip foundation, so I'm in term four. Yeah, and you guys still ada berapa ya? Satu, dua, tiga, empat. There are five or six term. Yeah, depends on your ini. So what I will do instead of um. Well, you can jump to your content if you want to. But what I will do, I'll just make a tabel. Sorry, my tabel. Yeah. There's tabel, tabel. Tabel or timeline juga bisa. My tadi, tam, table, inline. All right, so. Just put the word terms in here, yeah. And in here you can the units name. Jadi kalian lagi belajar apa aja sekarang guys? Um, we have professional development, okay. intro to drawing, uh, photography studio, photography fundamental, and academic hmm. English. Ada Miss Dianti ya? Eh, did Miss Dianti atau bukan? Uh, we did photography studio with her. Yeah, this you here. Okay. Uh, so just tell me what did you um what did you put? What what was this called? Okay. The template. Okay. So I just put that, yeah. The text right. So I just press return. Sorry. And I press the symbol again. The what? Clamp. Yeah. Garis miring. And Remember, I want to organize all my term nicely, right? The, yeah. That's the goal. So I go down. So there are several options here. First is table, yeah. So I just put term one aside. Yeah, kan? you are doing it right now, right? Term one. Yes, sir. And this is the your classes, yeah. Your class, classes or units, misalnya. Ya kan? Tadi ada apa aja? Prof Dev, ya Prof Dev. Terus ada intro to typo. Terus ada apa lagi? Uh, Fotografi studio. 
terus apa lagi? Jujur perseritaan yang itu juga ada. What do I miss? Yeah, for example, there are those three. Yeah? So you can add more. Now, in here, text. Oh, sorry, the text tag um, is actually a property in Notion. Uh, by default, is a multi-select. Now, there are so many things that you can use for this. For example, sorry. Uh, for example, this one that you can use to monitor your classes, yeah, or the level. Nanti ada term di mana kalian campur, ya. Yeah. So this is a foundation. Yeah. After foundation, there will be um, HND level four. Then after this, there will be HND level five. You'll know later when you get there. Cindy, sekarang ada beberapa materi yang foundation, ada materi yang HND level 4, Cindy. Ya. Yeah. Kak, sir, saya udah HND level 4 semua. Udah saya bawa, sekarang udah level 4 semua? Iya, plus term baru ada foundation. Excellent. Professional dua. development is HND ya? HND, sir. Okay, so this is one. There you go. Oke, okay. ini contoh ya. Kalian tidak harus begini, tapi this is something that is quite make sense ya. Now another thing that you can add is misalnya the author property uh, dated by y, me, you, ya. Yeah. Terus bisa lagi. Hey, yep. Ah uh, HNC the product bukan HND sorry. Level okay. 4 is HNC. Uh, HND is level 5. Hmm. So yeah. Oh yeah. This is essential. Yeah. I can edit this. There you go. Yeah. I think Prof. Dev is foundation there. I think. Yeah. Right. So this this can be the author. Yeah. Which is you. Kenapa penting, sir? Yeah. Nanti kan ditanya sama gurunya yang bikin siapa misalnya. So another thing that you can add in here as a property is Uh, create sorry create a time ya yeah. nah misalnya empat ini dulu deh oke okay. so far still following oh ya yeah. uh, term one sorry please add this ya yeah, guys uh, you start in June ya yeah. June 2021 jadi kalian ingat ya yeah. uh, sir yes uh, I'm doing this on my iPad uh, mm -hmm. I'm doing what you're doing just to see if I would be able to manage to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time I click on one of the new column, like the, the little rings uh, mm -hmm. from the classes, it uh, redirects me to a new page where I have to oh, learn. Okay, okay. All right. So this one, I think you just need to tap once. And just if you want to add another row, if you if you slide left you should see this in ipad too if i recall correctly yeah. do you see this in your ipad uh, yes okay so so just press plus yeah now that's a good point so when you double click in here we select class professional development yeah it will direct you to another page so this is the content of your blog yeah Nah, jadi bisa dimulai dari sini, di brand. Ini kan, class, misalnya, text. Kan memang cuma mau text, kan? Text tadi, heading to. Uh, week one. What did you learn on week one, guys? Um, we learned, like, we, we were told to make, to make a slideshow presentation on our five favorite creative professionals. Five favorite creative professional. Hmm, okay. The following are example. Okay. So by default, ini contohnya. Alright, you can do this. Misalnya, then you add what slideshow, yeah? Correct. Yes. Okay. So, sir, I want to add slideshow. No problem. 
So yeah, sorry with the extra noise, everyone, if you hear anything. So let's add this. Um, what do you want to add? Media image, no, file. Okay, so let's add a file, embed link, upload this file. Let me something, let me put something from my class. Misalnya ini, lectures, with one. So you can try to put PowerPoint, yeah. Um, it will open. Okay. Uh, we can put like a, a PDF, uh, like Microsoft and Weebly, right? Mm, yeah, you can. Sekarang aku lagi edit my, you know, Weebly. Ah, okay. <laughs> Actually, I never like uh, making a blog before in my life, so I'm not doing my best. <laughs> uh, no problem, like blogging, um, not even your teacher familiar with blogging, no, because it's, uh, it's something that is, unless you do it, you do it, yeah. Okay, so I can upload my PowerPoint and my PDF in there, yeah. Okay. Easily, yeah. Um, kecilan PDF ya, so I'm just gonna delete that. Right, All right. All right. So that's week one. Saya so mau bikin week two gimana ya? Udah, tinggal di plus lagi heading two. Week two. What you What did you learn on week two? Misalnya. And sorry, with this, if you want to create mood board, yeah. Misalnya, sir, I found many pictures that I want to share with the class, yeah. Atau misalnya kelasnya yang eh, apa? Di sini juga bisa. Um, yeah, mind mapping. You can create mind mapping in here if you want to. Yeah. Um, I think it's the board or the gallery. Mana gallery? No, gallery. There is one. The one that I used before. To apa ya? For example, if I put, upload an image in here, yeah. If I upload several images, uh, three images. Okay. So I have one image yeah, and I can resize this if I want to. Okay. And if I want to add, uh, if I want to move it around here, if I want to add another image, I can. Yeah. Uh, I think you can just drag as well, if I recall. Uh, that's my background. Hey, okay, sorry. I think the internet is slow. So, yeah, you can add. Uh, images, yeah, but because my image is huge, your file is over the five megabyte limit. So be careful with this, yeah. So make sure that your image is already small first, okay? Right. So that's one. So by doing this, you make a already make a post inside that, yeah. So same with intro to typo. Um, do that and also the uh, photography studio. Now, if you still have um, email from your past school, kan kalian baru masuk UIC ini. Do you still have image from your school, preview school, guys? Um, I just created a new email for UIC because in my school, we didn't use any Google mm -hmm. Classroom or anything, so. Okay. Uh, I I use my 
all the e my email that I usually use, like the you know, like that. Okay, so if we go to the website, they actually um, provide academic, yeah, I think they provide that. Yeah. But hang on, before I go further, so after this, yeah, for example, I, if you let me delete this, yeah, this file is huge. Why? Okay. Yeah, so this file is huge. Yeah. Click that. Bye bye. So after that, if how do you change from the timeline to the blog page? Oh, I miss. Um, from here, yeah, miss, yeah. Tadi klik ini aja sih, miss. Klik open ini. Ini blog page-nya langsung. Terus kita bisa pura-pura isi. Itu, dan uh, ini, quick three, ya. Jadi panjang ke bawah ya, Trima. Emang blog kan gitu. Oke. Okay. Now, this is if you want to just uh, go right uh, directly. Yeah. Alternatively, kalau kalian tipe yang teratur, you can also, yeah, in here, instead of just write directly, you can also uh, create a list. Yeah. Okay. So week one, uh, weekly posts. Misalnya. So this is week one. Jadi bikin kayak inception ya, the page inside page ya. Kalau kalian mau bisa begini, week two, it's week two, yeah. Uh, Isn't that a little harder to manage? It is. No, depend. Some people like it this way. I know a person that prefer this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, but then does this show up in the other your? I don't know if you're looking at it in which mm -hmm. side, but to me, this is in the left side. In the left left hand side, they will show you every single page that you made. Mm -hmm. And uh, will that actually show inside there? Which one? Yeah, yeah, that one. That one. So if you click on it, uh, wait, it doesn't show. I thought that it would show, like, uh, if you open that one, it'll open oh, up. Oh, you mean this one? Um. The one that's like page inside a page before the one before. Oh no, it will not show. This one, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just scared it was gonna be disorganized. Oh uh, no. Um. Yeah. So if compared to this as well, yeah, it will only show you this even with this one. Term of study for. So this one is slightly trickier to see because it only uh show this, but not that. Whereas with this one, it shows term one. So it's easier, right? If you have term two, for example, um, then you with this, yeah, once you're done, uh, you create another one, you can add in here, yeah. Another one, uh, term two. Okay. I think. Let me check. Mm. Oh, there you go. So I just bring it out. Can I bring it out? I cannot bring it out. Hang on, hang on. I can add another one. Can I add another one? Hmm. It works with my blog, yeah. If you, this is how I, you I see student blog, see. So each one of these. Um, I, I don't have your block yet, yet, guys. So it can be very organized. Yeah. So inside this, you yeah, see student block, and underneath this, all the term, one by one. Yeah. So this is like in a way block post in itself. Yeah. So that's uh, what we are trying to. Okay, let me duplicate. Can I duplicate? Oh yeah, there you go. 
There you go. Yeah. So just duplicate that. Berarti ini term dua kalian tuh kapan ya? Your term two is will be October. Okay. Term two and duplicate term three and so forth. So it is organized in a way that uh, this will be February 2022. Oops. Wow. All right. So far, following at least the writing part, everyone. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, could you tap on the the home again? This one. Oh, so. Uh, okay, okay. Can we click the links from the home page as well? The link from the home page. Uh huh. Yes, like we can open the. Can we can we open it from the home page as well? Oh, you mean from here? Yeah. To yeah. where? Uh, to the term two maybe or term one. Term two. Term oh. one. Term oh, three. Oh, we have to start from there. Okay. Yep. Um, hang on. Let me share this first. Yeah. Uh, let's test everyone. Copy. Okay, let's test together. Okay, do you see in your website? In your browser, sorry. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, when you click open, there you go. Yeah, simple. Uh, this is your blog, right, sir? I mean, the link that you share. Mm -hmm. The one that I just did uh, just now. Oh, sir, sir, do <laughs> we have to, uh, at the beginning when you made no like a new, web page for notion because i have another one for my personal use mm -hmm. um it is what is the difference between the one with like share with my team and for myself because i've only tried for myself oh the private one mm -hmm. okay so this is the one where uh i share with more than three people um i can't remember exactly how but then notion make that as a share, yeah. So I share this uh, with more than three, four people, yeah. When you share this in the share, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I allow people to edit as well. You can have this as a domain, you guys. Yeah. Jadi bisa langsung buat ini, if you need to. Uh, sir, we can yeah. we can like change our our website name, right? I mean, yeah, you know, uh, like we can change the name of our website. The name of your website? You yeah, mean yeah. the the address or what? Yeah, the address. What? For Notion, I don't think so. For Notion, yeah. Uh, Weebly. Weebly, yeah, you can. We Weebly can. Hmm. Okay. We believe it should be. Okay. But yeah, so with this, everyone, so far, hopefully it's easy, yeah? If you just want to write, um, Notion is more than enough, yeah? But when you attach file, make sure they are already in a manageable size because there is that five megabyte limit there. Yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, straightforward. The, the one that I use for other alternative, this one, yeah. I'll just put it here yeah, for comparison. I'm using a board view and gallery view. So it looks like this. If I double click on principle and element of design, for example, 
it is similar to the one that we did before. But if I go to digital design one, I make them as a table. Yeah. So you oh, can have a gallery view like this too. Sorry, yes. Uh, for the gallery view, can I put an image there or? Yeah, you can. So gallery view is still empty because I haven't put anything in here. Yeah, let's test this thing. Uh, digital view, so can be anything. Add cover. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, okay, so the content is still empty in here. Uh, let's put something as a content. Okay, ignore with the name, guys. Yeah, I'm good. Face, okay, then the text. Okay. And let's upload an image. Mm. Okay. All right. So, so the one that you will see first is the text, yeah? So if you want to have the image, I think I assume you put this first in here. There you go, yeah? I think, I think, yeah. There you go, see? So if you want to put the image first, make sure the image is on the top paragraph, yeah? Or if you want to make this a gallery, misalnya tugasnya Miss Dianti foto-foto, bisa aja begini. And the text later. Clear with this one? Gambarnya di paling atas. Alright. Okay. Hope this um, very very rough and quick tutorial helps ya. Yeah? Especially if you want to use Notion. Now, Notion um, is really good tools if you like to archive to put document and take notes. Yeah, a lot of notes. I have this video um, in YouTube that he, yeah, favorite note taking app. So I'll just share the link. Yeah. Uh, Notion as not taking app. All right. So to supplement today, please have a watch in this video. 20, 24 minutes long only. Yeah. All right. So far, anything else that you want to try? Anyone? With Notion? You're welcome, Miss Dianti. Maaf ya, ini kalau masih ada yang kurang. Ini memang kita harus sering latihan, latihan bareng, terutama. Yeah. Uh, any more question, guys? Video sharing. Ah. Oh, maksudnya post video ya, Miss ya, di sini. Kalau mau share video di Notion, is it? Actually, that's a very, very good question. The one that I already use in class, the mana ya? Hyperlink, sir. Hyperlink sama video, siap. Mana ya? Uh, student blog, design, writing, writing. Okay, so this is the one that I will share later if I'll see students in uh, in apa in digital design class. So 
so hyperlinks yeah so this is if i have link from the website yeah how do you add this so remember i just copied the youtube right uh, okay UI see design mana tadi kita coba bareng-bareng misalnya ini photography studio ya open so when i paste the youtube link ya yeah, it can embed video or create bookmark ya yeah. so if i click embed video it will embed the video like so ya yeah. So the the thing with this, you should upload your video first. Um, just upload to YouTube, make it private, it's fine. Yeah, or uh, hide that. Yeah, and just share it in here. Okay. If you just directly upload to Notion, usually one the size will be an issue. So uh, it actually this will be faster than that. Yeah. Okay, so this is for video uh, link, yeah, uh, YouTube, or um, yeah, like this. You can have the link in here, and you can adjust your post as two column, yeah, and you can put your caption in there, okay, something like this. Wait, 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 sir. How did you make it to two columns? Mm. Oh. I forgot. No, no, kidding. You can just uh, drag it like so. So you can make it three columns. And drag it like so, two columns. Ah, OK, OK. Click and drag, everyone. Yeah. Drag it like so, like so. Uh, sir, can we change fonts? Yep. But very limited, yeah. Okay, okay. That's the thing. Notion not really fancy in decorating. Yeah? If you go to Reddit, there are many ways people will do to make this a bit more, apa ya, a bit more pretty. But yeah, that's not the goal. So this is how I I just combine the heading, the text, yeah, and caption. To post this, so if I have this two video, um, I can put this side by side, yeah, something like this. Okay, and the like I can undo easily. Control Z. Um, uh, yeah, video is easy. Hyperlink is copy paste. Yeah, uh, link. You can uh, just put link in here, and yeah. Notion lebih ke minimalis apa adanya sih. Yeah, true. Okay, video hyperlink covered ya. Yeah. Image sudah. Ini nggak sih ya? Um, yeah, I did mention hyperlink is the strength of any blogging. So there you go. Yeah, something that you can do in visual layering. Uh, in my classes, I rely heavily on video uh, because I realize, yeah, sama-sama miss reading itu enggak, it's not everyone's cup of tea, especially younger generation. Although, ironically, blogging is all about writing, sebetulnya. Hi. Moga berguna, guys. Everyone, Mr. Yanti.